Welcome to Wine Down Wednesday. I am your host, TT from the D, and I want to thank you for stopping by this evening, tuning in. I'm very aware that there are several other platforms that you could have tuned into, checked out tonight, but you decided to stop by TT from the D. And for that, we are super excited. We are thankful. We are grateful. And I love to shout out those folks that support us. Where would we be without y'all? How could we get through this without y'all? And I don't take it lightly, understanding that there are several other platforms that you truly could have gone to to listen. And I love to share those graphics with you for all those people that have been checking us out. I'm going to shoot you out there. Starting with the United States, we have loyal and dedicated listeners in Iran. Philippines, Canada, Ireland, India, Italy, Puerto Rico, United Kingdom, Brazil, Romania, Australia, Saudi Arabia, Netherlands, Bulgaria, Poland, Russia, Germany, Denmark, Switzerland, Mexico, Egypt, Guam, Ukraine, Bangladesh, Lebanon, and Czech Republic. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for taking the time to join us each and every Wednesday for Wind Down Wednesday with TT from the D podcast show. Tonight's hot topic is, dun, 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 dun. I wish I had a drum roll, but I don't. It's okay. Be careful who you call a friend. Now, I know some of y'all might say, oh yeah, we had heard that. Growing up, you know, I remember my mother used to say stuff like, everybody is not your friend. You call everybody a friend. Everybody is not your friend. And I used to look at my mother like, mm-hmm, you don't know. You just ain't got no friends. So you don't know what it is or whatever. But as I gotten older and as I started to grow, I realized, you know, I consider myself a friend. You know, I'll do what I can. And, and I've had some really good friends. But then there's some people I really thought was a friend. And they ended up being friend enemies, Right? And it made me think like, wow, you know, while I'll sit here and go to bat for you, it's like, you'll sit here and smile and say, I got your back. I'm rooting for you. And you really don't. And I think that's very um, scary, especially for those of us as adults, but more so when you have a child or children. And I say that because we teach our children to be friendly, trust your friends, be there for a friend. We teach them how to be a friend. But everybody's not getting those lessons, okay? Everybody's not getting those lessons. And my heart goes out to the family of the young lady who actually went overseas with her friends, right? Her name is Dejanae Jackson, known as Shaquilla, right? She went over there with several friends to, I believe it was Mexico, and had a good time. They were celebrating somebody's birthday and hanging out and doing what people do. And she got into it with a friend, one of her friends who beat her so bad, so severely bad, she broke her neck, right? They left her and they blamed it on alcohol poisoning and blah, 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 got back to the United States. And of course the family is like, well, you left my baby in Mexico, y'all all all came back. And they all came back a day early, right? They brought her luggage, you know, and it's a lot of speculation because we weren't there. I wasn't there. You weren't there, but there's a lot of speculation going on. And it kind of took me to the place where I said, you know what? This is a good topic because we're always saying, oh, that's my homegirl. Oh, that's my homeboy. Or what about this one? That's my sister. And that's my brother. Everybody not your sis. Everybody not your bro. Everybody that might come out when you're doing something great. I'm representing my sister. Represent. You come in when it's all good, but what about the trenches when they build and when they're going through? What does that look like to you? Are you out there representing and doing what you need to do at that time? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But on tonight, I thought it was very, you know, very interesting that we take a hard look at what that looks like. Because people are losing their lives, ladies and gentlemen. People are losing their minds, firstly. Because everybody wants to be a friend. Everybody needs a friend. We do. But at what cost? Right? The same people that laugh in your face will be the same ones that will load the gun to take your life away from here. And I know it's a hard pill to swallow to some because you swear, 
No, we go back way, like big wheels and bicycles. I get it. I get it. But guess what? On today, in today's time, you got to be mindful and you have to be careful. And that's not to scare anybody. That's just to say, hey, this it is what it is. This is this is the times we're living in. Okay? This is the times we're living in. And this is what we have to deal with in today's time. And it, and it, and it looks different for a lot of different people. It do. It does. But you have to be honest with yourself. Be transparent. And don't be afraid to be transparent and, and honest with yourself. And sometimes it's going to hurt. If if it didn't hurt, I'd be lying. I'd be lying to you. And I'm not here to lie to you. I don't want I don't want to be I don't want to have you, let me say that. I don't want to have you listening to me so deep where you feel like, oh well no. I mean, TT had a point and maybe it ain't. It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I'm sad that this situation happened with, with this young lady. When I read that, I, it, it made me think of so many things, so many people. And I just, my heart went out to that mother because I'm like, what? That young lady, I believe, was 25 years old. A hard worker, educated. Her friends educated two hard workers. They're going out and they're traveling abroad. Like, like we, we get geek. Hey, let's go and go here and do there and, and see this and see that. And we want to bring our homies, our girlfriends, our guy friends, our friends. And there's nothing wrong with it. But you got to be careful. Like, is are they really a friend? Are they really a friend? Or are they, are they that friend that want to be a friend that's looking for those benefits? You know those friends? You know, do you, any of y'all can relate to some of them friends? Where it's like, you like, oh, I thought we was friends, friends. And it's like, uh, no. Last time I checked, right? Last time you checked, you thought that. But the way your spirit is set up like that's gonna be a no and I hate to say it like that because I'm not trying to be funny but it's real it's very very real and it's something we have to address we have to acknowledge because it's happening every single day people are losing their minds people are losing their minds and they are at all costs and, and, and they're justifying why they're doing the stupid stuff they're doing and it don't make no sense. It's heartbreaking, to be honest. I work in a public school district, and this is not a this is not something that recently happened, and it definitely is not something that happened in the district I'm in. Now I was in my former district, but there was a lot of things I learned by being in education. Some of the things I've learned, it would blow your mind. But there was a case, this is real talk, there was a case with three young men and there was, let's just say, a a young man that went to the regular high school, a student that went to the alternative high school, and then one student that went to the middle school, and they all were out together one day, and the young man that went to the regular high school, working, got a job, doing well, still friends with his friend that was at the alternative school, who kind of was just one of those people that just couldn't get it right, right? You know those people. You know how you got that your kid got them friends and you be like, uh, you gotta, you gotta watch them. You gotta be mindful. You gotta be careful, right? We try to, we try to tell our kids every single day, be mindful, be careful. And what they say, oh no, it ain't like that. It's like, really? Okay. Right. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. If you say so. Okay. Okay. Right. Cause you ain't trying to go there, but you know what you know. You ain't get as old as you have become being crazy. And so, and this this little crew, they hanging out one day, and they're at a I'm not gonna say the location, but this was this took place in Oak Park. I can say that much. I can definitely say that much. And um, I don't know if it was the plan. I, I didn't go to this court case, so I don't know if it was planned out by the young man from the alternative school, but. He was in the back seat of the car of his friend who went to the regular school. And I don't know what they were doing, but he shot him in the back of the head. And the young boy, he told him, help me get him out or I'm going to kill you too. And the young boy, out of fear, of course, he helped him get him out. And then it was just like, 
my God, what am I going to do? So in, in the midst of helping him get him out, what did he do? He actually bit him in the face. He bit him in the face and he ran for his life. And this is real talk. This is no cap, as the young people say. There's no cap. This is real talk. And, of course, the young man had to go to the hospital because his eye was hanging out his head. And I know y'all might be saying, T.T., really? Yeah, really. Like, for real, for real. But it just goes to show you that these folks out here ain't playing no games. They're not. They are not. (laughs) We have to be mindful. But this latest case, and there's several other cases I could share with you, but this one with this young lady, she had no idea she wasn't going to return from Mexico. Her mother's conversation with her, she had no idea that that was the last time she was going to talk to her baby, even though she's 25. She trusted the folks she went with. So did her daughter. She had no idea. But you got all these people out here, ladies and gentlemen, that will laugh and hee hee and ha ha in your face and sit there and plan your demise. I try to tell my children that all the time. And of course they're like, oh, here she go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. But it's real. It's real. And we have to be mindful even as adults who we call a friend. Can you depend on them? There is a saying that I learned a long time ago. Every friend of me was once a, was once a friend. Now that's something you can hold on to and think about. And it's crazy because as, as much as you could be wanting to love on somebody, sometimes people don't feel the same way. They could care less about what you think, what you want to do, or how you choose to do things. And that's hurtful in itself. I do know that. But it's reality. It's an unpleasant reality. But it's reality. And we have to learn to own up to it. We don't want it to cost us our life, of course, but it's reality. And it's a wicked reality that we live in, y'all. People are out here to kill, steal, and destroy. You would think like, nah, nah, they wouldn't do that. You would hope that. You would think that, right? We look at our friends that we hold on to and You know, anything they're doing that we admire, it's nothing wrong with admiring them. But it's everything wrong with when you start to envy them. Envy them to a point where you feeling like, oh, they think they better than me. Do they? Or is that you? Is that you thinking that they're better than you? I don't know. That's rhetorical. Totally rhetorical, y'all. But you got to think about that. That's, That's real talk. It's real talk. And it's crazy. It's people that will laugh and smile in your face and really mean you no good. And it is hurtful, let's be honest. Especially when you think that somebody is your friend and you loving on them and you like, dang, what? Like, wow. And what's even more painful is when you have to still be around them and you know it, right? And you're like, what do I do with this knowledge I have? What do I do with this information I have? And you got to say, well, I need to do this. I need to do that with this knowledge. But, right, there's always that freaking but. All I can say is keep your eyes open. Be careful who you call that friend. Friends don't encourage friends to do things that aren't wise. That's one thing. And the friend want to root you on. They share in your delight and your joy and your dreams and your goals and your visions, even when they have nothing to do with them. Be careful of those friends that always want you to support them in what they're doing, but they ain't never available to support you. For those of you that are entrepreneurs and you out here breaking your back and doing your do, and you got your people that just don't even share nothing, come to nothing, support nothing, purchase nothing. And they see you grinding, but oh, as soon as you blow up, aren't they right there? They right there. It amazes me. It amazes me. So I just have to say, 
be mindful, ladies and gentlemen, who you call a friend. Know your friends. Put it out there what you expect from your friends. And when I say out there what you expect, like not like expectations, but like I expect you to be open and honest, even if that's tough and sometimes it gets tough. But I, I expect that from you. I expect you to tell me the truth, even if you think you might hurt my feelings. For those people to be going out, especially if this is for my ladies, letting your girl go out there looking crazy as hell, dressed all kind of ways. Yeah, girl, you look good. I don't care if we think we look good. If we don't look, that ain't a good hairstyle. That's not a good lip color. That's not your right foundation. Them heels is leaning or screaming. Them pants has got a wedgie. They too tight. They got a camel toe and it wasn't on purpose. That sweater look like it's your daughter or your niece's sweater. Come on now. That lace front is on your forehead and not even at your hairline. Those lashes look like you belong on Sesame Street. That shit's not cute. I don't know who said that shit's cute. It's not. And what's so funny is some of y'all that be rolling with y'all friends behind their back, you be like, yeah, I don't know. They be like, mm, I don't know. I, I'm not feeling it, but that, that's on her. That's what she, I mean, she like it. I love it. Come on. Come on. You know your friend wouldn't want to have to deal with somebody trying to talk about them and dog them out in public somewhere. All I can say is it is because some people be overly confident and thinking that is that's that look and it's not. But to each his own. If you know you put it out there, and you say, "Hey, I, hey, I said what I said," and then you was like, "No, no, no," then you can take grace, ladies and gentlemen. You can take grace in knowing I did my part. I, I told you. I told you like that looks crazy. That don't look right, boo. And you was like, "I don't care. This is what I want to wear." And it's like, okay, no problem. No problem. But you got to trust those that you call a friend that will just be honest with you. Not reckless, but honest. And it's coming from a loving place. And you know those friends. You know those friends. I don't got to tell you about your friend. You know them people that don't mean you no good too. I ain't got to tell you about them. Hell, I know some folks right now. I be thinking like, wow. And it's hurtful because I'm like, really? Like, really? But I'm looking. I'm I'm looking and see what I see with my eyes is what I'm going for. Not what somebody could have told me, could have pointed out to me, but what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing with my naked eyes, what I'm seeing with my spiritual eyes. I'm going to get out y'all way. I'm going to get out y'all way. I don't want to be nowhere that I'm not wanting. I always say stuff like that. Like, listen, you ain't got to tell me to keep it moving. And I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not going to feel any kind of way if it's like, okay, I'm seeing you going in another direction. Then that just means that we're just not meant to move in that same direction. And there's nothing wrong with that. We are all growing. That don't mean I think I'm better than you. That don't mean I think you think you better than me. That means that you're doing some other stuff. But please don't be trying to keep up with me just so you can keep up with me. And definitely understand, I will not be trying to just keep up with you just to keep up with you. I do a whole lot, as you know. And a lot of my circle do a whole lot too. We don't really have time for that. But there are some people that just keep their heads in the game just enough. Right? Just enough. So you can't say nothing. And it's like, mm-hmm. and it's kind of like a, you don't think I see you, sir, ma'am. Boy, girl. Eh, I like it. You love it, right? But you really don't love it. You pretend you love it. We got to do better, y'all. What happened to this young lady, Dejane Jackson? It shouldn't have never happened. Just like the young lady a couple, what was it, three years ago that lost her life at a hotel party in Chicago. Remember that made national news. They had her on camera where she was wandering around and looked like she was under the influence of some type of something. And then she vanished. Right? And then three days later, they found her in a freezer. She was a beautiful young lady, just like this young lady, Dejanae Jackson was a beautiful young lady. May they continue to rest in power. But I'm like, this just goes back to what I said. We gotta be careful who we choose to call a friend 
because everybody is not your friend. I wish I would have listened to my mother back in the day when she used to try to tell me that. And I hope that my friends and our children will listen to us as we give that warning, right? It's terrible, it's crazy, and it's something that should never ever happen out here. But the stuff we encounter, if only we had the beauty of hindsight, we be so further ahead. But that's all I got for y'all tonight. Thank you for tuning in again. I'm going to leave y'all with that. Be careful who you call a friend. Let's see if I can get y'all something here. Um, Let's break this down, if I can. Friendship. The emotions or conduct of friends, the state of being a friend, a relationship between friends creates a friendship, right? What is the true meaning of friendship? Friendship is a state of enduring affection, esteem, intimacy, trust between two people, right? What are the three types of friends? Confidants, constituents, and comrades, right? Now, three qualities of a good friend, there are several. Being trustworthy, being honest, we talked about that, right? Being loyal, being able to be non-judgmental, being a good listener, right? And just knowing the difference between an associate and a friend. That's another one I need you to pay attention to. Some people that are friendly aren't your friend, but they're associates. If I have a coworker and we're coworkers and I'm fond of my coworker, which I am, I have a lot of coworkers, that I'm fond of, but that don't mean we're friends. We don't do anything outside of work. So they're my coworker. I'm very fond of my coworker. I'm gonna say, hey, this is my co my coworker. That's right there at that friendship line, right? And you have to know that. Everybody, like I said, that's my sis. I, no, everybody ain't my sis. No, everybody ain't my sis. But I do love on folks. And it's that type of love that you like, look, I got you. I wouldn't do anything to hurt you or harm you or take from you. But I don't think everybody feels that way towards me, and that's okay. That's why I do what I do, how I do it, where I do it, and when I do it. To keep you from falling out with folks or worrying about who's saying this, who's doing that, just be mindful of who is a friend, who is a friend of me, and who is right there in the middle just to catch what you're dropping. That's real talk. I'll see you soon.